Well, hello and welcome to Garden Flippers. Gosh, it's been a long time since I've been into this game. I really enjoyed the few episodes that I did do. It's such a giggle. And now that they've got the new DLC, which is Garden Flippers, or Garden Flipper, I thought, you know what? I think I'd have a bit of fun doing that. And wow. Yeah, my garden has gone a bit uh, overgrown in my absence, although it has been quite some time since I've been in here. But now they've got a lot more texture, the grass is growing, we've got weeds and a few other bits and pieces around here. I don't recall the hedge, but you know, it has been a long time. So yeah, this is my original place. Oh look, I've already got mildew and everything starting up around the gutters. Oh, so obviously, oh, I can do some weeding. Well, before I do that, before I get into doing my garden and making it look all tidy, yeah, the outside of my first office or mini shack I guess is looking a bit scruffy I don't know if I want to do something about that as well let's go inside now this is something you haven't seen <laughs> yeah I didn't actually uh, put up the video of me tinkering around in this place I wanted to convert it to a little studio flat a place that I would work from and I also wanted to use it as an opportunity to explore all the colors uh, there, there is a lot of colours and um, it's a bit baffling on what goes with what. So I just thought, what the hey, I'm going to buy all of the pastel colours and just paint them around the walls and see what I get. So uh, yeah, I get a big Neapolitan ice cream of a place. Um, but I guess it will keep you smiling, if nothing else. Now, the one thing I've noticed since coming back in is that all of my pictures that I put on the wall have gone to white plain canvases. So that's a bit disappointing. Um, it's in-game money you spend, so I guess I'm not too bothered. But what I did do is um, briefly popped in and uh, I wanted to check my settings, the mouse settings, make sure all that was okay and that the DLC had loaded properly. So when I ran in, uh, I spotted this one, which is the most important one, which is my logo, was white. So I've popped that back up. So that's about all I have done since uh, uploading this uh, new version of the game. Uh, so what I want to do is play around in the garden, so uh, come with me and we'll see what mess I can make. Now let's go outside, shut the door. Alright, so what do I have available to me? So I guess, yeah, I can pick up. See, I can't pick that one up, so I guess I need a different tool for that. Uh, so this might get a bit repetitive. Oh, you know what, I can't even walk over that. It actually creates a bit of a barrier, so that might be a problem when I want to put some furniture down. I'll bear that in mind. Yep, same thing there. Let's tidy up. Actually, considering the amount of time I haven't been here, it's it's not looking too bad. Oh, I can pick those up. Some thistly type plants. Oh, skill point. It's been so long since I've played, I can't even remember the skill point structure. So you're gonna to have to fumble along with me, guys. I'm so sorry. It's, um, a new learning curve for me. Right, I've run around this garden as best I can. Oh, I've missed the corner. Let's get these last few bits and pieces. I'll probably find out that there was a tool to do this far quicker, but mm, I'm guessing getting skill points whilst I do this. So let's have a look. That's all pretty. Oh, I saw ya. Sneaky. Let me just quickly check in the far corner. Yeah, thought as much. And I don't know even if I've got any skill points, like I did for inside. Remember, if you watched the previous um, few episodes, it would show you where the problems are. Maybe the garden has the same sort of skills you can pick up to take you to where the weeds are to, uh, to find. And surprisingly, I missed a lot. Gosh. Okay. No. Oh, there you are. That's a bit better. I'm trying to remember the buttons for running and walking, but... There we go. Right, let's go back to here and look at the front. So we have a look what's available now in our tab. So before we had um, the house options, so now we've obviously got the garden options. I've got two perks to spend. So what options do I have? I've got quick, so 80% faster planting, 75% faster digging with a shovel, 100% faster unfolding grass. Ah, on the roll. So you actually put just new grass down. I can go for equipped, which is um, a large 2019 trimmer. 
that might be handy. A uh, shovel, so it's obviously an upgraded shovel, and coming soon, okay. And gardener's senses, a high grass visibility. Ah, there you go. So we had it in the house, which would pick up where there was any mould or dirt. And you could see it on the mini map, and you could single on it. It saves wasting a lot of time trying to find those few little bits and pieces that stop you from doing a 100% score. I don't know how good it is to find things in the garden at the moment. I think I found most things at the moment. Uh, next we've got visibility of weeds again on the minimap and visible moles on the minimap. Now, mm, that might be helpful. So seeing as I've got two points, I think I'm going to go for... Hmm, I'm actually going to go for that one. So there's the grass one. So I don't want, do I want to plant quicker or do I want the trimmer? I'm going to go for the trimmer. There we go. Used up all my points. And we will then, I guess, come out. Now, where's the rest of the options? It's in the store. Uh, oh, there you go. There's the house stuff that we used to have. And here's the garden stuff. So we got decorations. Oh, my goodness me. Like I say, I have not looked at any of this. So we've got loads of birdhouses, lanterns. Oh, doggy bowl. I have to do a doggy bowl. I have a, a dog myself, so uh, anything to dogify the place would be lovely. We've got, oh, we've got lights and stuff that can go down the path. Oh, there's so much. So this is quite literally just the lighting. Ah, oh, rabbit cage, chicken coop. Uh, oh, a nicer doggy bowl. I like the classic chrome. And little dog house. Wonderful. Keep going. Wow, keeps going. Uh, I've got some small garden boulders. Oh, we can put a pond in. Hmm. Now, my little garden, I guess I'm not going to go too extravagant, and especially with my budget, but it's a good place to experiment. So, garden pots. Oh, I see. So, I must have seen everything. Yeah, this just breaks it down into the categories. Watering tank, lamps. Cool. All right, well, we'll come back out. Now, I'm not even sure how I get my radial up. So, bear with me one minute. Let's just stare at the house for a second. Okay, well it took a moment and it was actually a bit of a numbskull thing that I did. It is quite literally the right button click. Hold that down and it gives you your radial. So we've got demolish, move an object, clean, paint and sell. Now that is still for in the house. So yeah, I'm a bit confused by that because I don't exactly want to be painting the uh, the grass. So let me, yeah. Mm -mm. So maybe there's another radial option. I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. I had to do a little bit of research. I had to check out uh, the actual community page for House Flipper and Garden Flipper to try and see why it is when I press on here, I still only have the, the house radial for doing the housework. And it seems to be that you have to do your first garden mission. At least I think that's what it said to uh, be able to get your tools. So let's have a look in here and see what we've got. So in the, uh, the box we've got, let's see if any of these are garden related. Student house. Ah, a bit of gravel. Okay, a bit of gravel and a couple of bushes. So that looks like the only gardening related one. It's got a little garden flower symbol at the end. So let's give this a go. Okay, so let's have a look what this job requires us to do. So we know the topic, a bit of gravel and a couple of bushes. Hello, I work at home in my dentist office. I can deal with all kinds of teeth cavities, but not with the holes and weeds in my garden. Please lay some gravel in the front part of my yard to get rid of these. Also, could you plant something um, on there to make it look better? Well, I'm sure I can handle that, uh, Evelyn. We'll give that a go. Let's uh, accept your challenge. Planting is now available, so there you go. That'll bring back my radial that, well, not bring it back. It'll give it to me to start with. Yeah, that's very confusing. I'm sure there's enough people that have gone, hang on a minute, I've bought the DLC. Why on earth don't I have the tools in which I need to do the gardening? So, yeah, you've got to do the first challenge. From now on, you'll be able to design a garden, look for plants in garden categories in the shop. Cool. So here we go. So I've unlocked the garden hose. Congratulations, you've unlocked the new tool. Use the uh, garden hose. You'll be able to uh, water flowers, fill water tanks and wash dirty outsides of the house. 
themselves. Oh, well, that changed. It used to be before that you had to use your mop to wash the outside of the house. And I guess some people do that, but it makes much more sense if you can just hose the outside of your house. So that's good to know because my shack needs a good wash, so I can just use my hose now. Same as before, we've got a little mini map in the top right hand corner. We have a set of things we need to do. So uh, let's have a look here. We want to scatter the surface with a single cover colored gravel. Okay, plant a coniferous shrub and remove weeds. So we've got a few tasks to do. And um, oh, it's nice enough. Yeah, it's overgrown. It's a bit of a mess. I'm gathering I need to basically, oh, you know what? I can't weed these ones. Hmm, interesting. So I'm, oh, I guess I've got to put gravel down on top. I would have thought I would have cleaned it up a little bit to start with. Who knows? Oh, and I've just realized I'm going to turn my mouse sensitivity down again. Oh, that's better. Otherwise you're going to get a bit motion sick with me. Yeah, press to remove. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button, guys. Again, playing lots of different games. You have E as your action button usually. I forget it's your actual mouse button to pick up all these dandelions. Get a few more bits and pieces. Oh, I just do wish in real life it was this easy. If nothing else, you're not getting the backache. Crawling around on the grass, hands and knees, trying to get all this up out of the grass. Okay, we're getting there. I think there's too much more to do. I've seen far worse overgrown gardens in my time. In fact, my own garden would fit that category too. Okay, it looks like all of that's clear of those. Oh, and I think that challenge is gone now. Uh, okay, so what was the next one? It sort of disappeared from the side. Now, if I remember correctly, it was something to do with gravel. So let's go into the garden section and put, was it single, coloured... Gravel, there we go, it's come up. You can get single coloured gravel square or gravel. Oh, square. Oh, I'll go for that. Oh, choice choice of sizes. So we want it coarse or fine. Okay, so and the different colours. Oh goodness me. Um What colour was that house? Let me come out of here. Now ah, see now I'm gonna try and do a decent job of it. So it's a white house with a bit of blue. Footpaths a bit of tan and white. And it got a bit of a grey tan roof over there. So we can get away with a couple of colours. So let's go back in here again. Does it keep it? Ah, oh, it didn't. So single colour gravel square. Okay. So I'm going to go for very coarse. And I'm going to go for this sort of yellow. I'm going to go for a mixture. Now let's go for white because it'll match the house and we'll see how this looks. So do I just put it on top of the grass? That seems a little bit crazy, but... Ooh. Well, this is a bit... Ah, is that holding... It does a square. Look at that. That's a bit weird. Okay, so hold the mouse down. And it kind of, oh, that's horrible. Why can't I get, there we go. Okay, so you just got to be a bit fussy with it to get around and do what you need to do. Okay. Up into the corners. All the way around. So you can sort of hear it making noises where you've missed bits. Wow. Okay, it keeps taking my money, so yeah, bear that in mind. It'll just drain you. You'll just keep pouring gravel in. So that was that task. Now what? How do I bring up my tasks again? So do we go tab and... Because hmm. I have a terrible memory at the best of times, you know, and it's not showing me up there overall progress so oh hang on a minute we've got tile one two three and four let me press now is it control 
and minus. There we go. I can do a scroll out on that mini map. And we can see we've got plot one, two, three, and four. So am I meant to, what am I meant to do now? I remember there being something, ah, I had to step away. Oh, so when you come into it, oh, look at that. When you stand in the different squares. Well, that's worth knowing. So if I'm over here, aha, scatter the surface with two colored gravel. Scatter the surface with a single color. Scatter the surface. Look at that, guys. You have to be standing in the numbered areas. Well, that's that's new. That's different. I like that. Okay, well, at least I did that right, because this definitely was a single colour. So standing in here, they now want to plant a con uh, coniferous shrub. I was going to say carnivorous shrub. <laughs> Little shop of horrors, here we come. Right, let's have a look then, and have a look at the shrubs. So, coniferous shrub. Okay, so we've got different shapes. We haven't got a lot of space to play with here, but we might want to do something pretty. So let's just have a look what you get. So it's just a normal, tall standing. Yeah, I'm less thrilled with that. Let's come back out. Let's go for... Oh, did I just go for that one? What an idiot. Okay, let's come back out. It's got to be something more interesting than just a tall standing coniferous. See, that's short. So let's have a look at this. So this must be huge then. Let's have a look. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything different. Oh, there is, you know, what they look like. Well, I like that one. Let's scroll down and have a look what we've got. So ones that are a bit fuller and price range, I guess. Yeah. So we've got that one. I don't know. I quite like that one. What the hell? Let's go for it. So bye. Whoa. Okay, that's actually a bit bigger than I thought. Although it is either side of the door but I probably want something bigger in this plot not this plot so let me have another quick look to see if we can find something a little bit smaller sorry guys we're learning and I don't want to just bung any old thing in we may as well do a pretty job of it let's go for short then and let's have a look at the different styles okay it says the same one I liked before but small there we go so we can opt for it in the between if it'll let us or do we do it either side of the door yeah I'm gonna actually put it right there now how does this work so if I were to go bam is that it garden plants need to be planted to interact Ooh. okay so this is new let's dig a hole I wonder how deep you dig a hole so you just hold your button down I guess until it tells me different all right, the hole is now dug. Cool. So then I'll... Oh, look at this. Now I can cover the plant with soil. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How do I do this? With my hands, maybe? Put soil around. Okay. Oh, here we go. Let's pat it down and make sure it's safe. Oh, how pretty. Now the plant is buried. Uh, we need to water it. Ha-ha. <laughs> Planting successful, yay! Well, there we go. So that's gravel and shrub number one, guys. Yay! So I guess now I've got to work my way round. So I might uh, do a bit of talking, uh, set a little bit of this to the music. I'm going to try and sort of match what I'm doing. But uh, who knows? We'll see how it goes. Next one I shall do is this side. We've got scattered uh, the surface with two coloured gravel. Okay, and plant another shrub back into my tab. Now we want to go back into two-tone gravel. Is that going to give me anything? Nope. Surfaces. Bark. Oh, that's nice. Okay, coloured gravel. Two-tone coloured gravel. Aha! So we have all sorts of choices of colour. And you know what? Our house has got blue on it. It does have blue on it. I might pick up on the blue. Would that look ugly? That's quite nice too. Sort of a grey and white. What the hey? I'm going to go blue. Let's pull out the colour in the house as well. 
and let's go for it guys. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. If you actually look, you'll see there's a shaded bit. And I was just filling away thinking, gosh, they want an awful lot done with gravel. Yeah, no, they didn't. <laughs> I went a bit mad. So let me just uh, hover over the top. Same thing as before. You press the left button to put the gravel down. You just press the E button whilst hovering over where you want to remove it. And it'll just tidy it up. So again, back to correcting the mistake I made. Okay, I think I've probably fixed that problem I had. I'll just tidy up the few little bits I've missed here, just to make it look nice. I mean, there's some parts here that I'm just not going to bother trying to remove. Um, but I think that looks okay. In fact, I think that looks brilliant. That blue works really well. So if I stand back on here, it now suggests that I do another plant. So let's go back in into gardening and we wanted the shrub I can't even remember what I picked before but we'll just go for a variety I guess um, I have to remember some of them are really huge so I have to stick with the short and let's see we've got different types now I know I went for that one I think I'll just keep it looking fairly similar if I can and I had it just in like so there we go and then E to dig here we go a couple of shovels worth so it's click and hold click and hold I think there's probably one more two more I guess with your perks this comes a bit quicker yeah, right then we'll pick that back up we'll then pack that in and that's it Do that again. So not looking bad at all. Now what did I have to do on this one? Uh, scatter surface, single, single and two tone again. So I wonder if there's blue in single. Let's have a look. We'll do this one here now. Back into the shop. Back to surfaces. Single colours. I think that's the only yeah, option. Ah, okay, so this is where we're a bit limited. That's a shame. I don't really want to do that colour again, but I don't know if it's giving me much option. Could go tan, I suppose. So we're going to go for that. Let's try that out. Okay, guys, I'll be back once this is done. There we go, we've now got a slightly, oh did I go tan before? Now I don't know. Oh no, I don't know. Oh well, either way, it doesn't matter. No, I think it is slightly more, yeah, it is slightly more tan coloured. Phew. So what else did I have to do in here? Uh, another shrub. Here we go, pick a shrub. Uh, garden, plants. And we were going for these ones. Should I go for something different? Yeah, let's just go back one. Oh, <gasps> look at this. There's so much more. Well, that's... Oh, why didn't I see these ones before? Uh, we've got a creeper. We've got... Oh, wow. I quite like this weird looking thing. 
Oh, look at this. Choices, choices, guys. Yeah, that's the one for me. Let's see what... Oh, my God. Wasn't quite what I was expecting. I think, possibly, that's a bit much. Hmm. Do I want to do that? I don't think I do. <laughs> it's worth knowing they've got them, though. That was pretty spectacular. Right, let's go back one and see. Because this is going to be either side of the gate. So if it's either side of the gate, can we don't want it too domineering? Hmm. Narrow. Column. Really pointy. I'm not sure I like the really pointy. Let's try this one. I think that's probably what... Oh, look at the price. Let's have a look what you get. Is it huge? Oh, my God. I mean, how gorgeous is that? But not really what we're after. I'll get there in the end. So, no, we want the small... Does it even say small anymore? Short. Uh, short. Yeah, we'll go back to what we know. Let's just keep it all the same. Yeah. And I'm going to put this... Mm, I reckon we're going to try and match up on all four of these corners. So, about there. And then we dig a hole. Dig, dig, dig. I'm not quite sure where the uh, excess mud's going. It's just magically disappearing. Maybe I'm sticking it in a bag to the side of me somewhere. I don't know. I have to walk around the garden like in The Great Escape, sort of getting rid of the dirt so that the customer doesn't see. Okay, in we go, and pat the plant in. There we go, and water the plant. Oh, this is turning out really nice. I'm liking this. Look, even the sparkle on the aggregate is pretty, isn't it? A little attention to detail, how pretty that is. That is so cool. Right, we'll see what we got as options over here now. So we're going to the gravel again. Uh, oh, you know what? I didn't even... Let me just double check. It says scatter the surface. Well, yeah, with two-tone gravel. Last thing I want to do is make a mistake at this point. So uh, surfaces. Yeah, it's probably easier to do that. So we just got coloured, but it's the two-tone they're asking for. Now we did the blue. I don't think we want to do pink. That's a bit too much of a shocker. We could go for this sort of graphite colour. Uh, the roof of the building is kind of graphite. If I grab a sample of that, I mean, obviously that's the obvious way to go, which is a mixture of blue. Yeah, let's go this one. Otherwise, I think it'd be too dark. Yeah. Let's have a look. Ooh. Is that the same or is that different? It is slightly different. Yep, that works for me, I think. All right then, guys, I'll be back in a moment once I've done the gravel. Aha, look at that, you can make it bigger. I just pressed the shift key. Oh, that certainly speeds up the process a little bit. works really well. Let's step back and look at my masterpiece. Yeah, nice little mixture of colours in here. Nothing clashes, goes with the house. I'd be happy with that if I paid for someone to do a bit of gardening for me. I just want to tidy that edge up a little bit. Right, and last but not least, we need one more of those shrubs. Uh, yeah, I reckon about there. Blind man would be happy. All right. Dig a hole. Gosh, it's getting late. Let me just have a little look up. Yeah, sun is going down. I might just get this finished before nightfall. And I think the client will be happy. It's a lot of work to do in a day. My hole's dug. Let's put the plant back in. Again, let's tap it in. Make sure it stays firm. It doesn't fall over. And water it. Yay! Right, so all tasks completed. I'm very, very proud of this. Let me get this out of my hand. Oh, can I? Let's yet go to that. And have a look at what we've done. What a difference. 
not too shabby if I say so myself very pretty we haven't deviated too much from where they wanted it I started going off back here and uh, yeah I tidied that back up it's all very pretty and obviously this is something that I would be able to put into someone else's house eventually that's very nice huh. sit down enjoy the view yeah I like that right so let's go back to the gate I'm assuming this is how I now finish the job so here we go okay so you are done 100% of the order uh, you now have completed the order for 1860 pounds and 70 pence are you sure you want to complete the order I certainly am so again enter Ta -da! and then we're back to our disappointing place here okay well first job out of the way a little bit of gravel uh, so I might leave it there and um, yeah if you enjoyed yourselves come back and see a little bit more I shall go to the next job and see what it is they would like me to do so take care everybody thank you for joining me on this episode of house flippers dash garden flippers and we'll have a little bit, bit of a play to see what I can do I'd like to go a bit further so I can actually mow my own lawn and make my place look a little bit better and I would actually like to tinker a little bit and make my shack look, look a bit nicer I still only have 35 thousand pounds which is not a great deal can't really move much further up the property ladder right now so I have to do some of these little jobs so if I go back inside I shall say goodbye good night good day to you all and oh look at this that's disappeared again this is a problem oh I've lost my logo again oh that makes me sad but anyway guys thank you very much for joining me take care until next time bye